Then, shortly after, Gibson made the J45. And as you might have guessed, that's because it was $45. But if the camera will come up, this is a banner headstock. And on the banner, it says, only Gibson is good enough. Now, Gibson put this on after the J35. They decided to reintroduce the J45 and quite a few Gibson models with the banner head. Now again, this is an early example. This has no truss rod because it was made during, in 43 during the war effort. So there is a truss rod in here. It's just not an adjustable rod. And this guitar being 75 years old, the neck is dead straight. There's no need to adjustment after 75 years. That's why people buy vintage guitars. You pay a lot of money these days to get wood that's baked. This is 75 year old wood that was probably 20 years old when it was put together. Adirondack spruce top, skinny brace, flame guard, banner head, rare, 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 and this tapered headstock, skinny here, fat here, tapering off and gives you all those dynamics that I explained before. These guitars have big necks, but they are truly one of the tonal wonders of the world. I mean, you can't even hear me talk on this, and I'm not even strumming it that loud. And if I stop strumming, you might hear me talking. It's remarkable. I bet I flooded that, uh, that microphone in this. This is a super cool guitar. A guitar like this is, I don't know, $10,000. Right after Gibson did this, Epiphone put a banner on their guitars that said, when good enough won't do. And so this is a banner head after that Gibson made in 1944. Well, they discontinued production for a little bit, but 46, 47, you still have a scripted logo. Now, I'm gonna put these together. A script logo. This is a script logo. This is your modern logo, which came later. Script logo stop about 47. I might not have the year exactly right, but late 40s, you have a script logo. When you have a script logo, you always have a tapered headstock. By the way, our friends at Collings do a tapered headstock even today. The only company I know of off the top of my head that does that. So Collings guitars have tapered headstocks, including their Waterloo brand. Now this is not quite the authority in the bass that a banner head has. There's a reason these guitars are so much money. This is still a non-banner, it doesn't have that, but it does have the script logo. A non-banner guitar doesn't have the flame guard. So, you know what? This LG2 I got in is a great example of a flame guard. That is a flame pick guard. And this is now getting back to the regular tortoiseshell looking guard, which is what they were trying to do. We have the small bridge, highly desirable. From a mile away, you see script logo, small bridge, you go, that's a cool guitar. Want to get into some of that. These, every year I've offered them for 30 years, people have said, those are so expensive. And every year they go up and up and up in value. 20 years ago, people would have thought 1500 bucks was nuts for this guitar and be insulted. Now, this guitar is worth four times that. So not only will you be the tonal wonder of everyone around, you'll be heard above everybody else, but you'll be an investment genius by hanging on to one of these pre-war guitars.